Now, it was a few short lines in the Tory manifesto, an end to universal free school lunches for the first three years of primary school. But to TV chef Jamie Oliver, those lunches represent a decade of campaigning for healthier kids. The battle lines are drawn. The Conservatives say they will provide free universal breakfast for a tenth of the price of the lunches, saving £600 million that could be spent on teaching. The chef, Jamie Oliver, has a personal interest. His Channel 4 series, Jamie's School Dinners, led to a government commitment to improve school meals, and he's advised four governments on the issue. So I asked him for his reaction to the Tories' manifesto pledge. Oh, it's, it's awful. It's awful. She will regret it. it like, she being Theresa May? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean... I, I, Why should she regret it? Well, look, first of all, I'm apolitical, so don't mm. go thinking I'm ranting about one thing or the mm. other. You know, I've been through... This will be the fourth Prime Minister that I've worked with on the story around the nourishment of our children, which mm. by, in large, are the most unhealthy kids in Europe, right? Mm. Uh, and we know that the diseases that the NHS are, are overtly paying for now and being punished for and crucified now on cost, which is largely obesity, type 2 diabetes and diet-related disease. Mm. The, the school is at the front line of the fight against obesity and diet-related so disease. So you're saying it's short-sighted to get It's it completely short-sighted. It's okay. completely short-sighted. But they're saying, or they would say, if they were sitting here, hang on a minute, Jamie Oliver, get real. This is 650 million quid that we need to save, because there's a shortfall of a billion quid in the school system. We can save that money, and we're not in the business of subsidising okay. middle-class families okay with their kids to okay. get free lunches. Okay. So, so, so the argument about middle class families saying, I'm happy to pay, I'm happy to pay, uh, let the poor kids get it for free, but I'm happy to pay. First of all, it's the first three years. The system needs the bread and butter. Now, the bread and butter, that's £650 million, which is the most incredible £650 million of bang for buck, right, mm -hmm. guarantees nutrition. It treats everyone the same, rich or poor, mm -hmm. but it gets the system going. It gets the staffing going. And then thereafter, those first three years, the people that can afford it pay for it. And that is new money, and we do want it, and I do want it. I don't believe in a whole free school food system. But look, for me, I've gone through four prime ministers, We've had dialogue with all of them, apart from this one. This one's weird. I'm, I'm, like, the, the, the obesity strategy that Theresa launched mm -hmm. at midnight in the holidays with no minister owning it, with no comms, mm -hmm. what she did to the paper that I was involved in with Mr Cameron, mm -hmm. I was collaborating with the Conservative. I'm not anti-Conservative, mm -hmm. right? I'm apolitical and I want her to be brilliant. I want a brilliant female Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. What fundamentally what she's doing is taking from teachers, and taking from the kids. But she would be saying that she's taking from some of the kids and giving it to the teachers. No, no, because that because is, the money would go back to the That's a way to spin it for middle class, certain newspaper reading people that go, mm. I'm all right, yeah, they should get it, they shouldn't. We know that kids that are fed right are 5% better off in their sats. Mm. We know, we've got proof and science from measurement that says that they learn better. So from an educational point, right, this makes no sense. But from they would say, hang on a minute, they would say that they are feeding the right at a different time. So the governor said £650 million for free lunches for those first three years we can't do, but we can do £60 million for free breakfasts. Okay. First breakfast of all, club. it's not a one or the other, right? We're the most unhealthy country in Europe. If, if anyone watching this is passionate about a prosperous Britain in 20 years, feeding them a decent lunch, Right? Feeding them a decent breakfast is not an army. It's not one versus the other. You're saying do it's both. both. Right. Right? And if you're saying there's a shortfall of a, bil of a billion pounds, mm. right? I'm t put two billion pounds in. Right? You will never waste a penny investing in teachers. Right? You will never waste a penny investing they would say in teachers. It's about priorities. No, it's, you haven't got the money. There's no priority more important than our teachers and our schools and our nutrition of our kids right now. It's completely insane to think that you want to rescue the NHS on one side. Mm to think that money spent and invested on those kids and teachers is not an investment in the future okay. is ridiculous. There's a, a think tank called the Educational Endowment Foundation. And they've done this study involving 106 primary schools in poor areas where they have found that actually the breakfast club, the free breakfast, is as effective as a free lunch for not just feeding kids well, but also for getting up their educational standards. and it's financially more responsible. What you, what's your response? My, my response is, thank you, well done. This is not an argument about should we have breakfast clubs or lunch. 
It can't be. There is no. But if you had to choose, if it no, was you about don't. You don't choose. But governments do have to choose. You, don't no, they? they don't have to choose. They don't have to choose. The science and the data is there that kids must be nourished for breakfast and lunch. It's, it's proved. I mean, what you have to remember is two thirds of the people that fall outside of the free school lunches are still coming in undernourished. Okay. Mm. So look, it's not a, what we, we. What we mustn't do is get into the spin of breakfast or lunch. Both. We can't get into the spin of, well, they've got to take money from somewhere. Well, yeah, well, I'd rather take it from elsewhere, not the kids and not the teachers. I don't want it to fail, but there's a kind of pattern here. Mm -hmm. There's a pattern here. That what they, is that pattern? The pattern is, we know we're going to win, so we're going to get our jazz hands going and we're going to try a few tricks that we couldn't get away with in other governments. It's as simple as that. For us to hear about 600 million here, and uh, it's big numbers, it's telephone numbers, but I can tell you one thing, we could open up, let's open up, let's get the knicker drawer out, let's look at the spending. Let's look at the billions and billions of spending. 650 million there would be the most genius pound spent. It's the biggest restaurant chain on the planet. Mm -hmm. 26,000 schools, 18,000 primary schools, hundreds of thousands of lunch cooks. This, you can't just take it away because you're screwing up the matrix. Jeremy Corbyn has said he wants free, universal free school lunches for all primary school students. Not I would, just first I, two years. Well, I would, uh, then I would Has need he to, gone too far then? Yes. Ah. Yes. Gone too far. Because, because for, for me, like, the way I see it, like, and, and, and like, my little brain is like, I have to, like, I'm not just talking like, from some little middle class place. Like, I've, got my, I've worked in the most unhealthy towns and cities in the world, in Britain, right? I've worked on the line, I've served kids, I've done my time where I had 55 schools in, in Greenwich, mm. right? I, I, I know that money, new money, cash coming into schools for school lunches is really, really important. Right? We want parents that can afford it to pay for it. And by the way, it will still be the cheapest meal they ever pay for, mm. right? which is now measured. You've got, to remember, you've got to remember, 12 years ago, there was standards for dog food and not for kids' food in school. Jamie Oliver. Well, naturally, we did ask the Conservative Party to speak to us about their school meals policy and to respond to Jamie's comments, but they said that no one was available. They did tell us, however, that school breakfasts are at least as effective as lunches and they will offer every child in every year of primary schools a breakfast and the least well off a lunch too.